hi guys happy new year again i feel like we're just gonna be saying happy new year all through january because we are also happy 2020 is over um this video is going to be a mix of like handheld and maybe a sit down part where we like discuss how all of this happened because i literally did not plan to start the second video of the new year with like a haul but here we are so i am really excited i finally have a carpet that i adore absolutely love i love this geometric pattern of it and how i got it is just the funniest story like it's it's even this like this i have a tap guys i bought a tap i literally bought these two today Day, and i bought this earlier this week so i am so excited to show it to you so um yeah if you want to see my low-key haul and probably the installation of this though i can't reach my plumber so i'm really hoping he's able to come tomorrow because i've sent him a message so i would love to include the installation of this tap in this video but i know that me <laughs> sitting here i cannot wait to like unravel this carpet so i just wanted to show it to you as it has entered my house literally for the first time and i am so excited so we can unravel this together as we <laughs> at myself for literally no the good thing is that i am postponing painting to next month so whatever funds would have gone to painting is what has gotten me all of these and i absolutely love them so yeah if you want to know more about how <laughs> how this happened then just keep watching Okay, so it's only fair that we begin at the earliest part of the week. Ignore those. I literally got those just before I got this. So that's just come home with me. Um, I picked this up. I'm going to talk as I unravel it so you can actually see it. I got this at Chandarana and I am so freaking excited. I have been wanting something like this for the longest time. And I was there earlier this week because my grandparents were around and I wanted to like buy them pillows for the guest room. And also pillows that they can go with so um yeah i was in the pillow section and then i literally just like turned my head slightly it was just above the pillows and i hadn't even seen it so yeah i i saw this fell in love checked the price the price is like four thousand shillings which is incredible because you can see i am literally still unraveling it amazing so yes i've gotten this green i don't even know what they called it like on the receipt i just know it's like this green fence thing for four thousand bob and i am beyond words excited i literally feel like this whole year god is just like taking my hand and like leading me where i need to go so i am beyond words excited so i have measured it and it actually does give me exactly like the length even it's a little bit longer than the length that i need for the privacy of my gate so i called the carpenter and he came and he said he'll be able to like weld something Thing for it to hold on to so it can't be pulled off of the gate from the outside and i'm just beyond words excited so i actually did think this would be the first project of 2021 it is a first house purchase of 2021 okay so here's the story i promised myself last year that to celebrate the new year i would buy myself cake so i went to kitangala to pick up this cake and then i got thoroughly lost like i was following google maps and it took me to literally the middle of nowhere so as i was driving out i hit a place where i couldn't really turn so i told the lady can you meet me here so i ended up parked right in front of a twyford that like yellow signed shop or whatever i think we've all seen it if you're looking at home stuff you've definitely come across it and so um i saw a tap and what the thing that i was going to do immediately after picking the cake is to go to koloho to pick up this cheapo sort of tap um just as a temporary solution for my sink because the bending over is kind of like <laughs> messing with my back and i'm just over it so i had decided that i'm going to spend two thousand shillings on a temporary tap as i wait and like save up for my twelve thousand shilling tap right then i come across this guy and i literally asked the price it's like as a formality not even like as a serious thing and it turns out it was four thousand shillings and i was like you know what for a temporary tap this is a pretty badass one and i can actually wait a lot longer to get my permanent twelve thousand bob tap if i have this one versus the two thousand bob one that i will be wanting to replace like immediately you know so literally since i've gotten home i haven't unboxed it which is why i picked up the camera because i was like we can unbox it together because um they had the display one and then they went and got me a brand new one i am absolutely in love look at this it's it's basically the exact same design like the exact same concept as the one that i want for twelve thousand shillings but this was four thousand shillings but the way you know it's literally just god first of all me getting lost trying to buy a cake like honestly who does that <laughs> like who will go i literally drove all the way to kitangala because i didn't want to pay a rider um 500 or 600 shillings to bring me a cake when i could fuel and have that 600 shillings take me even further than just kitangala right so i was like this time i'll go for it myself and then um getting lost and like 
parking literally i was looking for another shop which we had agreed to meet at and then i was like you know what i'm done it's google map says that i'm around the area so you just come to me and i stopped and i looked up and i saw that i'm <laughs> in front of triford right so um yeah this was four thousand shillings and then when she called the store and told them to like bring me one from the back they told her the price has actually gone up because it was four thousand five hundred and then i like asked her if we can bump it down a little bit and she was like yes it can go down 4300 i was like mm, can we just round it down all the way to 4000 and she was like sure so i think i think it's a built-in um price uh discount like it's a built-in discount because she didn't really fight me on it so i feel like if you don't ask you won't get it but now that i have told you to ask make sure you ask for at least 500 bob. because when she called the store and told them to bring it um she wanted to confirm the price and they said that the revised prices is bringing this to about 6000 shillings and so the minimum they would go to is 5500 which is 1500 more than my 4000 which is already 2000 more than my actual budget right so at that point i was like uh oh, maybe it's not meant to be you know whatever but then she was like i've already told the customer that she can get it at 4000 bob so what am i going to do and they're like okay fine just sell it to her so i'm so excited that is literally how i got this beautiful beautiful tab that actually has the multi setting like the multi spray function for 4000 shillings which is amazing even at 5500 i feel like if it's your forever tap it's definitely worth it because i've seen people pay 5500 shillings for like really shitty taps <laughs> that spoil after a week so yeah i am so excited about this i even asked her like if it decides not to work <laughs> after i install it she told me just bring it back and we'll sort you out so very very excited very happy to own this i don't know why it's written bathroom but this is definitely going in my kitchen progress is being made you know and also in that same shop i finally decided on the sink that i'm gonna get and it's gonna be four thousand shilling okay it's 4500 but the guy was like come and we'll talk so i'm like four thousand shillings <laughs> um instead of the sixteen thousand one that i had been having my eye on so i feel like we're gonna be making kitchen progress very very quickly and i'm very excited about it and also all of this is because a um <laughs> yes i have like sort of redone the cabinet area but i'm just not really feeling like i'm mentally prepared to try to paint i know that sounds really stupid but like it takes a lot of work like it takes removing everything from the walls and like moving everything to the center of the room that means for two or three days because technically i do want to wash my ceilings first that is one full day and then two full days of painting so for three days my whole house will be upside down and then they will leave and i will have to arrange it again and i'm just not emotionally prepared to take on that project <laughs> right so um yeah I, I thought like i came back so excited to like get started on painting and whatever but then like i am so tired i <laughs> being around a seven-year-old is exhausting like to your soul so i just need some time to like shut down and recharge and just be in a chaos free environment so i have been looking for sort of any excuse not to paint i'm even thinking of like going room by room and then when the guy came back like when we were talking about the gate yesterday um he came with a different price for the painting so it's just like everything is coming together to tell me this is not the month to paint let me just like do the other things that make my heart happy so when i have my gate private privacy I will be so freaking ecstatic and then um now i have a freaking tap for my sink so i don't have to bend over and like you know like feel like i'm hurting my back because i don't wash dishes anymore because of the dishwasher but then like i'm washing a uh, chicken or i'm washing something else and like there's always something that takes you to your sink so yeah i'm really excited that i don't have to sort of be in pain or like sort of dread going there every time i have to right so this and also um i think i'm gonna get that sink soon though but then getting that sink means replacing my whole countertop and that's just a whole project in itself so i feel like that's a february thing if at all i'm still not motivated to paint but yes that is the story behind this tap and my cake super super excited i can leave her contacts down below because this is freaking delicious cake cannot recommend it enough yeah and then because all of these happened literally right now i've just come home changed and then picked up the camera so um this beautiful carpet i want to unroll it and like put it in place right now which is why i wanted to talk to you before i actually did that but i was literally in i <laughs> okay so what happened was i was I went to buy mangoes in Siokimo, right? There's this fruit place that um, if you pass by, you'll definitely see it. So from Kitengela, I went directly there. And then as I was driving back, the place that I would have branched onto the main road, 
there was a cop and the place was looking a bit chaotic and I didn't want to like break a traffic law accidentally and then like have to have a conversation with him. So I was like, you know what, Crystal, just go through. Just keep going through Mlalonga, it's fine, right? So when I was going through Mlalonga, I passed by the first Peter Mule, like the smaller one, the Peter Mule Mta'ani. And then um, I remembered that I had actually decided that I wanted to get myself some chocolate. So I just like turned in and I was like, oh, I can pick up a chocolate. And then when I parked, I was like, oh, I can pick up a container because I'm still looking for my 2.2 liter containers literally no supermarket has them i hope it's you guys buying them for your pantry because it's life-changing but then like now i can't find them <laughs> you know so any supermarket i pass by i definitely like peep in and check if i can get one so i went upstairs to look for one and then as i'm looking i see a duvet very beautiful but too small for my guest room this is this is why i'm telling you it's literally god that held my hand through this process because there was no reason for any of this to happen i could have just been like i have cake that is enough let's go home crystal right but then um, went upstairs, saw the duvet, and in the duvet section, I asked the guy, okay, so do you have a shower curtain? Because I'm looking for like a plant-themed, like jungle-themed shower curtain, and uh, you'd be surprised what you find in supermarkets, so I thought I'd just ask. So as I was waiting for him to come back with an answer, I was like wandering around, and that is how I saw this! Literally at the back, back, back of the store, on the first floor of a supermarket that I never ever go to. Like, that is how I just knew this was God. And also it's like low-key herringbone patterned here, so I just I mean I mean this was meant to be you know like this is the one that was meant to be mine or the other one that I missed out on that <laughs> still low key salty about but it's fine um yeah and also we opened it up in the supermarket and it does look quite large so it actually does look larger than the one that I have right now which I was arranging today thinking about the Naivas one like the the other gray one but it's like a bluer gray this is like a warmer gray I think it even has specks of yellow in it like I'm just I'm so excited. So yeah, we're gonna unravel this together, put it in place. Um, it is a little bit thin, I will say that, but I only got it for 4,500 shillings, so that is expected. And also this one is also a little bit thin, which is why I have the green base underneath it, just to like make it a bit more cozy to walk on. But yeah, I am so happy. And now this carpet can go into my guest room to be like a cozier thing than the Sisal one. I am just beyond words excited. So yeah, I'm gonna clear all of this out and then move my carpet into place and then we're good to go. So this is a carpet. I can't even believe I thought it was the same size as this one. So I just removed the green thing so we could actually see it. Like unobstructed. Walking on it, it doesn't actually feel as thin as I thought it would, which is pretty freaking cool. Also, I do think it's the same size as the one in Naivas at like a tenth of the cost. Freaking amazing. Like, honestly, God is just, God is just so good. Like, I'm just so grateful. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be leaving it in this direction just because this is too awkward. But I finally have a carpet that can actually go to the wall and still jut out this side. So, I think I will be turning it around. And also, funny story, I literally, um, I asked the lady to like read the price tag for me because it was all the way at the back so i just wanted to know like how much would this be because it looked really tall and whatever and then um she was like 45.95 so i was like okay open it up let's see so when we were opening it i was like okay is this 45.95 or like 4,595 <laughs> She was like, I think it's 4,000, but let me go check. So she went and checked to make sure that the price hasn't changed. Like maybe it was a holiday offer or something. And she came back and said, no, 45.95. So I got my tap for 4,000 shillings discounted. I got this at the constant 4,500 price. And I just feel like it's been a really good day. So I'm going to turn it around and we're going to see. Also, yes, I do need to mop my house. Just like <laughs> ignore that. But um, yeah, I want to turn it around and we'll see. And also, yes, gray is my color palette. And I did want a more contrast contrasting gray to the carpet just because I felt like this was too similar to it so yeah I'm really happy that I do have a different type of gray in here and I've wanted white in my carpet for the longest time I just know how irresponsible that is because I don't really need to be having pure white things in my house so I'm really glad this is like a gray and white but like geometric pattern thing I'm just I'm so excited so yeah let me turn this around and then we can see So 
it is now in place and this is literally everything I wanted in a carpet I am tempted to like push it a bit further back towards that direction but I do kind of like it jutting forward so I'm gonna give this a bit of time see how I feel about it but probably gonna move it just until um, the wicker shelf so moving more than that one inch literally just feels like more work than it's worth so I'm gonna leave it here put back my foot rest that I use when I'm sitting there and yeah I'm just I'm so excited and also walking on the carpet it doesn't feel as thin as I initially thought it would so that's pretty exciting also I should probably explain this background this is how I'm getting my black background in the videos because I haven't painted yet so yeah we're just we're just gonna ignore that but I'm freaking excited about this ah like I feel so good like I am, I'm really happy because my floors have low-key been bothering me for a minute so I'm glad that I'm able to sort them out now so yeah I think I'll just come and check in if I'm able to get the tap done in time for this video but 2021 is definitely starting off on a few wins and I am all the way here for it so yeah <laughs> so it is the next day and I'll show you the carpet like um in the afternoon when the sun is coming in on the side but I have decided that I'm going to go back <laughs> all the way back to Kitangala to pick up the sink just because the placement of this tap, like there's no point in getting this tap installed if I'm going to have to rip it out and install it again because the sink tap placement is different and I have measured and like double checked and triple checked and that is the sink that I want and it's only 4,000 shillings so I think I'm just going to bite the bullet, get it done now so that I can get everything replaced today. Hopefully today the plumber said he'll try to pass by but but like kind of crossing my fingers that he'll be able to also do the sink because the countertop also needs to get touched a little bit but I'm not quite ready to like replace the whole thing so it's just a bit of a process but I realized that I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't at least pass by Koloho and like compare the sink because they have the exact same sink I just can't remember how much they're selling it for so even if it is 4,000 in Koloho I will still go all the way back to Kitangala and pick it up for 4,000 shillings there because hopefully I'll be able to pick up some plyboard some something I'll have the name on the screen of the type of wood that I want just to fill in the hole that will be left near the sink as I plan to replace the entire countertop later so fingers crossed this all works out also I want to pick up a few hinges while I'm there because they're selling a pair for 250 and the carpenter had quoted a pair for 400 so if I can pick up like 10 of them then that would also sort me out for like many future projects so yeah hopefully today will be a very productive day I am so excited but this is a close-up of the tap and it's such a beautiful heavy duty thing that I literally I am just I'm in love I don't know why there's like a gold reflection there but you can see it is all silver very very heavy when you lift it like I can't <laughs> can barely pick it up now and um yeah it's just very very cool very cool so I'm literally leaving the house and I just wanted to show you my greenery has grown back I don't know how to show you this without overexposing it but yes we are back to a green luscious wonderland i'm very excited especially for this one even the flowers have come back which is very very cool so yeah i am a happy camper again <laughs> but um another reason this privacy screen is so freaking important to me like look at it it's literally hanging down can you see how pretty this is hi i'm good uh, so yeah, that's that privacy is literally why I want the privacy screen But also I don't know if you can tell here, but you see how flat this part of the gate is It seems like someone had tried to pry it open while I was away So my granddad is actually the one who noticed that when we got back and yeah It's just it's not great when people can look into your compound and tell that you're not that you haven't been around, you know, so yeah yeah, I I do definitely need the privacy screen, but even the flowers have come back here amazing but um yeah definitely i'm um, prioritizing the sink over that because i just need a better back system <laughs> like back support system and then we shall come to this which is so exciting <laughs>
So we are back home and I think we've already established that Crystal is not very good at the whole not shopping thing. That is, is a vicious rumor in my world that I'm not allowed to buy things. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what else I've got because turns out this whole video will be a haul and then we shall do the installation of the sink and the tap at a different time. But I wanted to show you, I have gotten the sink and extras clearly, but um, this is a really good uh, sort of demonstration of why you shouldn't put too much faith in any one person because um, the last time I was talking to the carpenter person, he was like, like he's giving me a discount of selling me the particle board at 3,000 shillings whereas in the shops it's 3,500 but today I decided that I wanted to buy just a small piece of wood so I went to the hardware near um, the sink place sorry <laughs> this is very blown out this is where the sink is um, yeah so near the sink place I went to a hardware and I asked them how much a particle board is and it's 2,600 and the carpenter is like I can only sell it to you at 2,600 if you buy 10 pieces whereas I bought one for 20 600. So I feel like since our last conversation where all the prices went up and everything was like sort of changing I'm leaning more towards like DIYing a lot of projects So I ended up buying instead of just a small like quarter board piece that I had planned for for like 900 bob I decided it's worth it to spend 2600 and like even get the wood for my medicine cabinet and also get it cut So cutting was about 150 and um, this is an extra piece of wood that I can then cut to whatever other future project that I have that I'm very excited about so yeah 2600 particle board definitely worth it to actually go to the hardware and like source the materials yourself and not just trust that someone is like looking out for your best interests you know I feel like that was a case last year but maybe with kids going to school and whatever like everyone is just like looking for money wherever they can get it and I am not a bank so yeah particle board is apparently the best one for like cabinets and whatever not MDF so that is what I have here MDF is actually more expensive for whatever reason but I like this particle board now onto the reason that I I actually left the house I thought I'd just show it to you now like outside because we have like proper lighting um literally haven't even made it back indoors but this is the tap that I had bought yesterday so this is a sink that's going to be going with it and as you can see it is a single basin sink this uh width is this a width yeah not the length the width <laughs> um whatever this direction like this counter uh direction is 22 inches in total versus the one that I have now that is 39 inches so it will be giving me back a lot of counter space which I'm very excited about and then the reason I really wanted to get this before I have the tap installed is because you see the tap here is in the corner whereas if I got the tap installed without the sink I would have had it installed in the center and then had to shift it over to the corner later on so I thought for four okay <laughs> 4,000 shillings it turned out to be 4,500 for the thing because apparently the price is 5,000 shillings not 4,500 discounted to 4,000 right so um yeah I ended up spending 4,500 on this and I think it was worth it and then while I was there I just randomly saw this dish rack yes I do have a gigantic beautiful dish rack but now that I don't have a sink drain and I'm trying to like um minimize the amount of space that my sink is taking up I feel like this dish rack is definitely gonna come in handy and it was literally 750 shillings so I think that is a hundred percent worth it and look at this lovely coincidence I didn't even buy it because I thought it could go into the sink but then when I was in the shop I just tried it out and it worked so this is freaking awesome I am so excited this is a very deep sink this is about eight inches deep which as I have measured with the tape measure the one that I have now is less than six inches others in the shops that are sold for like 3,000 bob are like six inches so eight inches is pretty freaking deep and um, my chopping board can actually lay flat in this I believe so I am so excited to get this installed hopefully the plumber can make it today and hopefully he can actually just rip out the other sink and I can install everything but he is on a job so he might have to schedule a separate day for that this sink actually does come with its drain as well so I just peeked um, when I was at the shop and saw this which is pretty cool I love that it comes with its oh oh it also comes with a sieve I, I was saying that I love that it comes with its own cover and then I've seen like the sieve 
holes. Yeah, look at that. So no more dirt going down my drain. This is very, very exciting. And this can seal it so I can fill it up and like soak things if I need to. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. All this for 4,500, I think it's definitely worth it. So fingers crossed we can get it installed in the next video. I'm not gonna like include that in this video just because I don't want it to be too long. But I just wanted to show you in case you're on the hunt for a sink, a single basin can actually be pretty good because I measured and this is 22 inches but a double basin is about 32 inches so it wouldn't take enough away from the 39 inches that I have now like it wouldn't give me back enough counter space but also um the the actual sink parts themselves would be quite slim so i think it's worth it to just get like one really big really deep basin last but not least since i am painting my room black i saw this black double rod that is two meters long for a thousand shillings so i picked it up because um the shop where i bought the sink for some things they're very pocket friendly like the sink like the tap but for other things like this rack they're selling a single one at 2100 a double one at 2800 so for some things they're way overpriced and for some things they're way underpriced so you just have to go there like with a smart eye and like you have to do your research and know what you want to get so that you can understand what the best deal around that is so yeah this cutting rod i got at the same place that i got the wood and since i'm painting one wall of my master room black i thought a black curtain reel would actually make a lot of sense there so i am excited to get this installed since i have decided to postpone painting these are the little things that are going to make me happy so yeah I, I am pretty happy with all of my purchases so as i close out this video i just wanted to show you the curtain rod i have measured it out and it is 74 inches which is just over six feet and it barely just barely like covers up my window so i feel like the windows in this house are pretty wide to begin with but i think it also might be worth it to invest in something a little bit more expensive because this was a thousand bob which is such a good deal and exactly what i need right now but it doesn't like cover the whole wall the way i had wanted it to so yeah <laughs> might be worth it to see if you can get maybe something that's three meters instead of two meters because this is two meters and and i'm really hoping it actually <laughs> like after it's installed it can actually cover the whole window versus leaving like a little bit on the side open you know but um today is saturday and i finally managed to get in touch with my plumber he came and looked at the job yesterday and said he'd come back with a carpenter today to help him like lift the sink off of the countertop so i am going to be doing that today but it will be coming in the next video not in this video so i'm hoping that i can talk the plum the, the carpenter into also installing this for me since he's already here i'm hoping it won't be too expensive to like add that on you know so hopefully we can get this installed i still don't have curtains have not gone curtain shopping so that's <laughs> that's not something we're handling today we're just putting up the curtain rod so that everything looks a bit more put together you know also i will mention that i did go to koloho and their prices now with the perspective of this twy ford shop in kitangela is low-key ridiculous because they didn't even have a tap as like pretty and like aggressive and like heavy and okay they have like heavy duty ones right but then their taps are 9600 shillings versus this one that i got for 4000 shillings i went back to twy ford and they've literally written it on the display that it is 5500 shillings which is still such a discount from 9600 shillings so um the ones that are 9600 are not even the pull out ones like they're not the flex ones they don't have any sort of movement to them um you're not really allowed to record in koloho but you are allowed to take pictures of specific things that you want so i did take a couple of pictures i also went to look at the sinks and the sinks are like 8000 11000 for basically the same thing that i got for 4500 so yeah i feel like i went to builders and got really excited then i went to koloho and found it was a little bit cheaper than builders and got even more excited because like the vassal sink that i want at builders is about seven thousand at koloho is six thousand at this new shop that i found Triford, it's four thousand shillings so i definitely feel like it's worth it to look around and maybe not go to like a shop in a mall because they have to pay their rent somehow so you're going to be paying an inflated price right so yeah um, I just wanted to mention that before I close out this video. I've literally just woken up. So I am ending this video and then going into my kitchen to show you the work that is about to begin. Hopefully they were supposed to be here at nine. It is almost 10 and they haven't come. But I am optimistic that we will be able to like sort out my sink area today, which is exciting. So yeah, that's something to look forward to in the next video. Thank you for hanging out with me in this one and I will see you in the next one. Also thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video.